Welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're talking about volume and surface area in different application problems with both. So we'll go through these. These will not take too long to do. It says a right rectangular prism has a length of 5, width of 4, and a height of 3. The dimensions are then doubled. What's the surface area of the reduced prism? Well, if you remember surface area has this formula. We take 2 times all the combinations of each dimension multiplied together. So like length times width, length times height, and then also width times height. But keeping in mind here on this problem, we're doubling everything. So instead of 5, 4, and 3, we're doing 10, 8, and 6. So we can do 10 times 8, 10 times 6, and then finally 6 times 8. And put all that in the calculator two times, everything multiplied together, we're going to get 376 square inches and keeping in mind that is surface area not volume surface area let's look at another one here Evan is wrapping a shipping box in brown paper the box is shape of a right rectangular prism the box has a length of two width of one height of four so we're gonna uh, just not do anything to the dimensions we're just gonna find the surface area two times one 2 times 4, and then 1 times 4. Putting all this together, calculator, I think we get 28 square feet of the brown wrapping paper. Now we're going to turn our attention to volume. A right rectangular prism has a length of 5, width of 4, height of 3. The dimensions are then doubled. What's the volume of the enlarged prism? Remember volume length, width, and height multiplied together, but we're doubling everything. Instead of 5, 4, and 3, 10, 8, 6, multiply that together, we're going to get 480, 480, and this is going to be uh, inches, and since we're dealing with volume, it's cubic inches, cubic inches. All right, and here we have an aquarium. And we want to know the volume of the water in it. And it's filled all the way to the top. So again, length times width times height. 50 times 28 times 33. I'm letting the calculator take care of all of that. 46,200. And this would be cubic centimeters. So the aquarium, the volume of the aquarium itself is this much space and therefore it is holding this much water, 46,200. And finally here, it says two blocks of ice are shaped like right rectangular prisms. So the smaller block has length nine, width three, height seven. The dimensions of the larger block has dimensions that are double the dimensions of the smaller. What's the volume of the larger block? So we're gonna double everything. Instead of nine, three, and seven, we're gonna do 18, six, and 14. And if we multiply all that together, it comes out to 1,512 cubic inches. There we go. Hope this video helped with some examples about surface area and volume. Thank you very much.